Dear Mac Warriors and Robot Lovers, welcome back. Last episode was very exciting because there was a Warhammer all energy weapon build out um, that, yeah, kind of, well, he doesn't, didn't really surprise us, but uh, it scared us a little bit. Um, or maybe there was major fear, probably. Uh, but the wolf pack tactic helped us to bring the thing down. Yeah, so it was a major success, I would say, at this point, with our with the stuff we can do and we have. Um, yeah, and now, and well, he shot us up a little bit, but like with one alpha strike, I think he could have destroyed everybody except for the centurion, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. So, but now we, um, no, it's storage. Now we actually are proud owners of two parts of the Warhammer, a legendary mech. Yeah. Huh? Oh, it's, oh, uh, they only had a loadout with all energy weapons. So it is the nice Warhammer where I can put on a UAC. Very nice, so I'm very happy at the moment with this development. So and now we'll do the last uh, mission, which will most likely be even more scary, considering that it's 200,000 sea builds more. Um, yeah, and I guess... I mean, it's all it's all basic stuff, but we li like with eight hundred thousand, so we didn't have any plus um, plus items with the other one. But with eight hundred thousand, there might be a higher chance. So I guess, yeah, I guess. I mean, I'd prefer to have like better equipped medium max or something, where we can uh, loot some plus items um, to make our max better of getting bigger and bigger mechs where you have, have, have only basically like a crappy loadout, yeah? Oh, and I would love so much to have uh, this UAC minus two tons again that I had uh, in the in the story walk uh, here in the story campaign. Oh, okay, that's a very nice and interesting map. Okay. What is this? That's cool. So they are harvesting energy from the core, I guess. From the planet core. Very cool. So we need to get here, rally point. And then, so it's a very dark, very dark environment. I hope you can see something, because for me it's very dark. But it's the level. Okay, so let's jump in. Uh oh. Time to fly. Yeah, uh, they need to jump down. They can't really run. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Another point uh, for having Max with jump capability. Got it. Okay, I guess you could have run down here as well, so. Copy that. On it. Hmm, okay. So just in case you wanna jump in there, it's a mineral field. And this one is all a, mil mil a mineral field. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just jumping in there. And I want to see what's happening if I were to jump down in there. I mean, I'm not doing it, of course, because we are playing the um, uh, virtual Iron Man mode, so we don't take such stupid risks. Um, Coordinates received. Uh, 
Yeah, it's all mineral field. Interesting. Okay. I would think that you uh, get molten down or something if you are indeed so stupid and jump into lava. Or maybe the, the steel, you know, like I know from this uh, rogue tech um, mod, which I watched on YouTube already, uh, that they uh -huh. have like a lot of very nice stuff like ferro steel and, and other things. And I'm lo really looking forward to it Heading because up. I think that uh, like in this vanilla version, uh, you won't get anything like that. And now you're probably okay, asking confirm. yourself, why hardball? Why don't you install the mod and play it instead? It's probably much better. Well, guys, it's because I'm a completionist. Yeah, so I like playing um, RPGs and strategy games and other stuff. Uh, and usually I try to uh, experience everything. That's the thing. So now, who, where could the... And that's the reason why I play this vanilla campaign. Because I just want to see what the game offers. Also, when I write a review for this game, uh, I need to be informed, yeah, so and then I couldn't write like a competent and honest review if I haven't played the game yeah, or only part of it so Move order received. Ah, you can run up here as well very nice, so I really like it oh and it, need, it appears to be like a giant structure that would mean like he must be like 20 meters high or 15 or something like if, if it's a ring like of offices and rooms and stuff. Let's okay, move. Then. Okay, let's get down there like this. Engaging jump jets. Uh huh. There you go. Okay, so this is the convoy. Oh, and the enemies are coming already. Where are they? Mm, where are they? Oh, they're from there. Okay. Okay, so he can suck up some fire. So, and now, um, get to the extraction zone. Okay, so everybody there. Alright, so, okay, this was not the ideal direction but I've, I wanted to uh, secure every direction which was the tactical sound thing to do ah it's, he's also out of range of the sensor lock what a pity mm -hmm. ah, nice stuff coming. we got company yep we got company. I hear ya. What kind of vehicles do we actually have? LPCs. Altswin. Altswin LPC. Ah, he can tag someone. Sleipnir. Altswin. Okay, well, the, ooh, is he standing on it? Uh, okay, that doesn't... Orders. How did that happen? Let's jump up to the high ground. Ah, okay. Up high. Okay, I guess it spawned under him or something. But they they do have some armor at least. Run. Okay, one one hit in the leg. Four points of damage yep. to one leg. <laughs> Not jumping too far. 
So and that's what I was thinking about uh, how I could build this Phoenix Hawk, with your permission, of course. Um, that I just take out two jump jets or so. I think they are just building up too much heat. I mean, it's great to have so much evasion and having him so flexible, but I think he needs more uh, offensive capability. Confirmed. Yeah. And it's just, I, I, want, I, I think like in the mid to long term, I suppose you also won't appreciate uh, this tactic of jumping in, shooting a bit and then running away again. I mean, that's a sound tactic, but I don't want to use my time like that. Oh yeah, so they can also wreck some havoc. Unfortunately, they will all, I suppose they will all shoot at him if they can. No, that's already the maximum distance. I guess attack is attack like an, a missile. Oh, and they get to evasion, which is not bad for a car, uh, for a car, uh, for a vehicle, I guess. Uh, I always feel pity for the little locust. I think it's maybe because of the, the legs, how they designed the legs. It looks like a chicken or something. So now... Okay, he doesn't even have evasion. Okay, I should have reserved. Can't shoot at him. Hmm. But... We can take away his defensive capability, so he won't shoot up anybody. At least not so much. Oh, unknown mech. That's also like an exciting... Ooh, ooh, oh no, oh no. And we may not lose anybody here. Ensure all convoy units survive during extraction. Ay ay ay. Yeah. I mean, if we could communicate with them, of course, I would have ordered them to stay behind him. Even if they were able to shoot him in, in the stomach. Waiting on you, Commander. one so maybe some stray shots will take him and strip off some of his uh, evasion I'm going all in am I no you don't need any infernos uh -huh. okay, just too far away mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotcha. yep you got him I would hope that there are more enemies than just these these ones. Oops. Did you see it? The rockets went through this uh, metal tower thing. Would have been cooler and more realistic if they had uh, exploded here. The one that went through. What do you need? So it just destroyed it. High impact missile. Okay, so we can maybe do it like this. We can also go all in. Here we go. Oh no, she's so clumsy, did you see it? Like this building crane, she, she destroyed it. Well, 
Ah, okay, so this is like the maximum heat we can go. Uh, I mean, from these guys, there is not much stuff anyway to be okay, had. I'm on it. Yeah, destroy the loot. Ah, but I guess the, you know, these APCs, they will just mess them up now. I guess one shot will be enough. That's my guess, yeah. Oh no, it's, oh yeah, okay, so he destroyed everything. Ah, yeah, but the good thing is, whatever, whatever this mech is back there, Commando, uh, they will strip away the evasion. Very nice. And he will be scared as hell now shooting a laser like left and right from the head I ah, okay I can speed this up actually so let's, oh, they are out of range okay well at least stripped no one one more okay on, net warriors. It's go time. Ah. So shot unless he's not an ace pilot uh, I think oh no I think it's the better gunnery skill Ace shot or something. Uh, ah, he's tagged. Aha. Uh -huh. Good to know and good to have. Maybe we just shoot at him. 60%. Yeah, I guess. He's going down this round. Yeah. Very nice. Although now we only have the 15% per leg. But still... We can be happy about this. Got it. Yeah, I guess there's not much loot to be had in this mission. Looks like it's... this oh, oh, okay got it yeah we're destroying our loot again Want so more, huh? I guess we get less loot that we could good to go because I no I can't believe it so there must be more enemies coming I don't believe it like for 800,000. I can't believe that uh, like these two locusts or what was it and one commando it can't be that can't be all Firing on So they really destroyed everything again one more for the kill It's just a, a, You know like a bunch of molten metal twisted and molten metal that's lying there now Or maybe it's even pushed into the ground I hope at least that there is some more stuff coming here. Otherwise, I mean, it would have been very easy money. What is this? It's like a tower. It, ah, it's... Oh! Okay, this is where their lap, leopard uh, is uh, appearing, I guess. Actually, no. If you mouse over it, nothing happens. Ready to get it off. Okay, then maybe. I hope that there are more enemies because then it would have been much, much better for this mission. Yeah, really to take the maximum money. That was really a lot. And I think wasn't like the the mech bay, the additional mech bay, uh, very expensive, like five hundred thousand or so. Moving to position. So 
Or maybe they came from the other side and I just didn't activate them or something. Okay, the map is bigger than this. So this is the end of the map, you can't go further. So maybe there's more stuff coming f up from here. But now they are, it's just another turn, I guess, before before they go there. They are, so I'm just sprinting here now. Ah, okay, a, a, a danger zone. <laughs> if the leopard uh, is landing on his head, it's not such a good idea, I guess. Position confirmed. To stand there. On my way! And so then, I guess. Uh, ah, okay, that was stupid. I wanted to run into the other direction in case, you know, there were more enemies. Ah, yeah, okay, so all contacts. Hmm, very nice. Hold this position, Commander. The package will be on its way soon. Okay. Nasty big tanks, possibly. Okay, so they are not safe yet. It's another round. Mm -hmm. So I find this mission pretty interesting. I also like the map. You know, like this huge industrial thing where they get their metals. Now they've got the high ground. Galleon tag. Okay, so maybe jump jumps. possible oh no we can't tag nope so we we shoot ppc oh oh but he doesn't basically have anything worth having i guess maybe we can do a precision strike 50 uh, 85 percent so if he, if he hits him there, he goes through like butter. You cut it like a warm knife through butter. And? Well, we'll see. We'll see what kind of loot we get from it. I'd like to have a look at this tag. I never had it. But I guess... Or did I have it? No, I don't think so. So I don't know. Maybe it's like some, something like an energy weapon or something. Like a laser pointer, possibly. <gasps> oh no! Oh, and now he's sitting there, nothing, doing nothing anymore, I guess. What can I do for you? Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not so good. He's got so much evasion now. Maybe then we should. Ready for orders. Yeah. So that's the thing where we get the Phoenix Hawk. And he just needs to suck up the damage for them. Here, look Copy at that. me, look at me. Guys, I am here. What is it, Javelin? The Striker. Yow. Ah, yeah, okay. So the Striker is actually the one that might cause the, mu the most trouble. So. He's, she's going to take him out. Let's hope at least. Oh no, he's got a relatively high amount of armor. There's the Nark Beacon. Ah, there's the ammo. So we need to shoot him on the side. It's 40 points. Well, the, the, the L laser could do it. Yeah, oops. What is it? So like here. Basically, yeah, it's, it's totally the front. Okay, well, 44% chance. Aye, aye. Engaging oh, yeah, very nice. Oh, I guess the what turret was also... There's work to do. Oh, I didn't pay attention. Did something explode? Like the ammunition, so she pro probably just hit him in the front. 
Well, but it's better th like this, I guess. Ah, yeah, okay, so and we are at 50 again. So let's jump him in. Ah, and we want to reduce the um, the distance so they can't really hit us with the... Yeah, like this. With the LRM. Then hopefully they will stop order. shooting at the convoy. Because those guys we need to protect, right? Okay, I'm not building it up. Indeed. Five percent and fifty. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. yeah, that looks pretty okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, maybe th we already uh, saved them now. So if they can go there, or maybe they need another turn, and then the leopard will, uh, will start, will fi fly here. away. Oh yeah, now that now it's gone. Okay, very good. Now we can just shoot them up. So, mission success. I'd say, and I don't think I'm I'm very cocky at the moment because these two javelins with their LRM15, and they they will scratch us, I think, but they won't uh, even get through the armor, I guess. Unless they are very lucky. Oh, he didn't even shoot for some reason. Okay then. I guess it's time for some melee because then the LRM is totally useless. So let's sensor lock like this one. He's the furthest away. Ah, okay, but was that stupid? No, he's got two, both arms. stuff coming in so I guess they're Armor's focusing on nothing to see here yeah. reporting minimal damage what's up boss okay yeah. waiting looking on you good. commander our max looking very good yeah death from above five no, no. she can't do it Ah. Okay. Got it. This. Whoops. Ah, it's a spider. I thought they were both javelins. Okay, then. The spider. That's what I was uh, irritated a bit. Uh, why he was shooting a laser. I thought he had another laser in his chest or something. Okay, then. He didn't have any evasion, so let's shoot him. He's on the side anyway. Too much. I'm taking the shot. Ah, very nice. Into the leg, but it wasn't enough. Ah, into the head. But that's just the lucky shot. So there's six. Good to there go. You know. Oh, but. Got something you want done? Maybe, but it's just it's just uh, two percent or something, right? Yeah, doesn't make much sense to shoot him in the head. Also, heat-wise, but like this. Ah, let's do it. We have the resolve 2%. That's overheating. Or maybe like this. How much is left? Ah, okay, so not even a stray shot from the LRM. Let's try it. Roger that. 
Okay, okay. Did you see that? It's was one in the tummy and the other one in the leg, right? I guess that was okay as well. Like with this outcome. But we are never going to uh, to hit his leg. But I like Ready, I like set. the chance. You know, it's always good to have opportunities and a chance. But I guess you know he will just explode him. He will just completely explode him. But doesn't matter. It's Tell me what to do. Don't go for the chest. Yeah. Should have grabbed when you had the chance. Oh, he's meleeing. No, he's not. Enemy flanking. Yeah, okay, I would have been very surprised if he had hit a lot because with. Uh, but I'm actually surprised that he could shoot them, like on this di uh, th this distance. I thought there was a minimum distance. Punching him in the face. Oh yeah, she's doing this cool kick. Oh no, she's uh, she used her gun to punch him. AC5 will d just destroy him. Don't need to tell me twice. Like this. Maybe. Special delivery. Oh, okay. Also CT. Yeah, well then. So guys, that's hey, that was this. Um mission successful. Yeah. Very nice. I'm happy. Oh yeah, and that's good that we got two bonuses or Latin Boney, but not really interesting Max. So I guess we can try to. Oh yeah, and was there anything? Oh, no. Ah no. No, not this tag. Yeah, well, so this mystery will remain unsolved for now. What this tag is and what does what it does. Um, ah, it's a different model of the locust. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. But I guess I just check these, these, and we've got four of all of them. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, just that locust. Yeah, well, okay, great. So that's me. That means we are through with uh, all these missions uh, on this planet. Being pox related. Uh, Maybe something will happen later, like something like an event or so. Oh, our poor beaten up Argos. Did you know, by the way, that Argos is the name of the very loyal dog of Odysseus? When Odysseus came back, like the, this Greek hero, you know, um, you, I suppose you heard of him. Uh, Hind the Trojan horse. And when he came home after many years, you know, uh, he yeah, he most likely had a 
huge luck because uh, he had a very loyal wife as well so she didn't cheat on him or anything while he was like away for 15 years or so or at least uh, she didn't marry anybody yeah and there were suitors uh, and when Odysseus came back um, in disguise uh, no one um, recognized him except for his dog uh, and his dog of course aged already by this uh, all this time uh, lay on a heap of garbage and rubbish uh, and there were moths in its fur and yeah he was really uh, the the dog was really run down but he could um, recognize uh, and identify Odysseus like immediately so he was a loyal very good dog and our baby here the Argos is also our loyal girl yeah and as we are treating her very nicely we are constantly upgrading her um, I guess she will also help us along the way yeah and she's part of the team okay guys so let's check out any possibilities okay he can get something let's give him training confirmed commander needs to shoot better. what can i do for you they just five. need to shoot better um so contract wise there was nothing left which means we go to the star map and check out how many days we will uh be on the road or in space. Oh, sorry, I was uh, I, I wasn't paying attention. I wanted to check this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, so, but it's still ah ah. Okay, I did <laughs> I didn't see it. So it's minus ten and minus one and stuff. Okay, so, but it's getting less kind of. I wonder if, you know, if you don't uh, have any contact with these, with the factions, if it's, it normalizes around, yeah, like every month something or something, I don't know. So, we, w we are here. So I guess, you know, like half skulls. I mean, I think it wasn't exciting, but maybe we can also go for one skull and also it's like really far away like 31 days I don't think that we have to travel so far Pantia why is it red why is it going red here it's white ah it's greenish and there I guess it's bluish okay okay and then it's purplish all right yeah but I think oh yeah and also like this flashpoint stuff it doesn't stay there forever 270 days and it's got th huh? now it's got three I thought it was like only only a few ah no it's one and a half okay so yeah so I think we will take the this road ah only two factions Maybe we go here 11 days and then they are 15. So we don't have to repair anything. It's 15 days, 30,000 recreation. Ah, it's visited already. Huh? When did we visit it? Visit it. It's one challenge. Is it also visited? I don't remember that we went there. Oh, okay. So they they should have lots of contracts with so many factions. Okay, so I think maybe this one when we go th down or something. But I guess after ah, but f uh, you know for the um, oh the black market. Uh, but I guess we don't have the reputation for it. Oh, okay, that's sad. Okay, then let's do some building first. Okay, so this is Panther. 
and what kind of max do we have in storage so we only uh, we have a commando and the panther that is whatever it is it's a locust okay so we now we now know the panther and the locust so we will put this one in storage Oh, and actually, I mean, okay, we don't need to sell it right now because it's also not the best price. Maybe we just wait, but I don't know. Maybe the uh, the difficulty is increasing depending on the stuff you have. Okay, there's no UAC. Is there anything you need? Hmm, okay, yeah, it's not so much money. Can keep it, I guess. Did we have something in the UAC? No. C5, uh, okay, so RM4 plus, but. Should we buy it? Yeah, with one stability damage. Really not worth it, is it? Sprung two, we've got three, six, we've got four. Yeah, we don't need to buy any anything here. It's the Warhammer. Two parts, but then we are at four. Yeah, I guess that's too much for the beginning anyway. So we just collect it. Ah, we could build a Jenna. Should we do it? It's eight hundred eighty thousand. Nah, we will just collect it. Yeah, we will go to the uh, to all the planets. Okay, then let's just check it. Let's just check what we can do. C5, we don't have so much stuff. He was okay. I think he's okay, like with this build. Oh, no, we wanted to take out the Infernos. Um, and he's got two LRM5. Uh, so it's this. Well, ah, yeah, and by the way, it's three tons, yeah. Mac, uh, okay, 0 0.94. Uh, so it means it's another LRM5 would mean two tons. Our SRM is not so intelligent, probably because then this way we can just put another one in there and strip a little bit more of the armor again and have another LRM25. Uh, and then you know, he has a little bit more missile punch. Um, while 100 shots should be enough anyway, I think we didn't even get close to even half. Yeah. Just shooting 15. Yeah, we'll see. That looks good. So he's very well pr protected now. Decent damage potential. Heat wise, that's okay. Today's good mech. Log and no. Phoenix Hawk. You, I don't like so much. Uh, I already stripped one uh, jump jet, huh? Did I? So maybe. Oh, it's just 1.5 tons. Ah. Uh, hmm. And I don't want to jump him too, uh, you know, too uh, closely to use something like a small laser or so. And that's eight. It's too much. I think we stick with it, huh? Mm, yeah. B 
because taking out one jump jet yeah i mean if you have an idea yeah the problem is i will not uh, upload the uh, the videos uh, like today on the same day i'm doing them right now um but if you have an idea like for later i will check your commentaries like what to do with the phoenix hawk yeah um then I, I'm all uh, all yours, you know, for ideas. So this one, because I don't want to get uh, less armor now, even less armor. Yeah, I think you know because this way the mech is re uh, relatively safe and he has some damage potential. But he's so hot. Maybe. No, it's not. It's also not working. Like two large lasers is also stupid. Now, unless I get something like with less tonnage, like with a buff or something, and he doesn't have missiles, so I guess uh, yeah, we are stuck with the Phoenix Hawk like this. Vindicator. He was slow, but I can't really remember much of him. But it's yeah. But I, I, I prefer to have, uh, I prefer him to have uh, more armor. And I don't want to strip more armor. Oh, he's only 90. He's got only 90 on the chest. But we didn't even shoot the laser just once. Huh? So let's beef up the armor a bit more. So like this. Alarm five. So he was always rather in the back line, kind of, because he's so slow. Yeah. But I don't want to put even more jump jets, and he's got four jump jets weird should be quicker but i think it's uh, it's probably a thing of the chesses is there now where is this where's the other there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. okay so but he's well armored Maybe, yeah, maybe another medium laser, huh? Instead of one jump jet. Oh no, it's just 1.5, huh? And then I've, uh, that's the reason I didn't do it before. Uh, yeah, PPC, it's 50 for 7. 18. But he's got a good range with it. 50. I just have to uh, calculate it again. Just a second. It's eight points. He's got. Ah, okay, so that's actually worse. But this has the advantage of messing with the uh, uh, sensors. Now I think we are better off if we maybe give him more lasers. Because I think, you know, he was, he's not so useful and this, like, 48 heat sinking, it's, uh, that, that should be better, I guess. He's well protected. Let's try it like this. Right. 
Okay, so he's uh, this is our coil commando. Um, yeah, and this is the fire starter. Okay, great. So let's check out. So this is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe to this this they are more important. Seven days, thirteen days. Oh my goodness, thirteen days. Okay, and now we know where to go. Thirteen days minimum. Which is it? Eleven days. So and there is just recreation, whatever that means. I mean, I don't have the impression that this game actually uh, gives any um, like like encounters or something, you know, like based on this stuff, or maybe it is, but I don't know. There was nothing like that in the story uh, here on the story uh, campaign. No, we actually we were there. I can't recall. I don't remember it. Did we really did we really go there? Okay, then let's just go down. Uh, it's just these two. Ah. SD SLDF technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Oh, the... Bl ah, yeah, okay, I, get, uh, I remember. Okay, so that's the black market. So maybe 21 days. One hundred twenty thousand. Okay, but it was visit visited for whatever reason. Ah, okay, so let's just go there. We weren't there yet. 30,000, 11 days. Should be fine, and then we can yeah, increase our I'll reputation with these guys a bit. Let's do it like this. Okay, and I have to save and end the video. Okay, guys, so it was very nice. Um, I think that was a very, you know, yeah, well, like map wise uh, and mission construction wise, it was a very uh, cool mission, kind of, with this, uh, this industrial stuff in the middle. Um, and I think we are pretty well off now, like nearly two million. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe I should buy more stuff or whatever, but we'll see. Okay, so hopefully see you next time. Bye bye. And if you want, uh, you know, to show your gratitude or something, you know how to do it on YouTube. Thumbs up and sign up. Thank you for your support. Bye bye. See you next time.